This is the Janome DC 4030 PR Pink Ribbon Series sewing machine. And in this video, we're going to focus on the main stitch display. I think this particular model of uh, computerized Janome machine has one of the easiest to follow and easiest to use uh, stitch displays of any Janome machine out there. One of the nicest things you'll see here is whenever you choose the various stitches, uh, each stitch has, or each button has two stitches on it. When you choose the first stitch, the left hand side of the button will illuminate green. Um, and when you choose the second stitch, you just hit the button again and the right side will illuminate uh, orange. So if you're wanting to do the first stitch, you just simply press the button. Everything defaults, including the width and the length. You want to do the second stitch, you just press the button again. Again, everything on here uh, defaults. What I'm going to do now so you can uh, see, the, see the buttons clearer is I'm going to go ahead and dim these lights so you can see the buttons a little easier on the machine. As you can see now, this button is orange, so we're on the second stitch. If I press it again, you'll notice that uh, the button illuminates green, and that means that, uh, that we're on the first stitch. Whenever you're controlling the width, for example, uh, this button will illuminate green. When you're controlling the length, this button will illuminate green. And we can just continue uh, throughout here. Um, and, for example, if we wanted to do uh, stitch number seven, it's going to be the first stitch. Uh, and if we hit it again, it's going to be the second stitch. Again, all your widths and lengths uh, default to their to their standard settings, so the machine is ready to sew without having to adjust anything. But if we want to manually override any of these, we can simply uh, choose the uh, the width or length that we want. But whenever we hit that button again, it's going to bring it back to the default. As you can see here on the length, it's 2.5. On the width, it's 5.0. So we just press that button and it shows us the current uh, length and width uh, for that particular stitch. I'm going to go ahead and bring back up the lights now. And on this uh, particular machine, one of the nicest features is that it does have stitch elongation for your satin stitches so if you're doing a scallop stitch here like on stitch nine we'd hit that button twice to get over here to the uh, second stitch and again all your lengths and widths are defaulted here you can control the elongation you just press it and it'll go uh, up into you know the longest uh, elongation you can do and it'll elongate that particular stitch for you. On this particular model we do have uh, six different styles of one step buttonholes and another nice feature on every button of this machine you'll notice underneath the stitch it has a letter um, for example here is, you see the straight stitches it says letter A over here we see letter A on the orange when we hit it again and get the orange stitch it's going to be a letter G letter A letter F what that is is it's telling you what foot you should be using for that particular stitch and all the feet for these stitches are included and also um, so that you don't have to fumble through your instruction book uh, to find which foot you should be using for which stitch you don't have to find, fumble through the instruction book to find your recommended lengths and widths um, it just defaults to a, a standard setting and of course you can uh, you can control those and customize those any way you like and that's just another great feature of the Janome DC4030PR Pink Ribbon Series Sewing Machine.